All right, babies. It's that time again. Oh, yeah. Mm. Still just getting up. <laughs> Sleep schedule way off. Catching the the afternoon sun and a song sparrow right there. Oh yeah, baby. We haven't heard a song sparrow for a while. If he's gonna start singing, he'll probably sing the, the whole 10 minutes. Ah, especially when no one else is singing. Oh yeah, baby. I love how the birds take turns. It really seems to be somewhat orchestrated. It's like they learn to let each other have room to be heard. And isn't that more than what we do for each other? Oh yeah. We need to be at least as deferential as birds. Oh yeah. I'm also hearing, uh, what are they, cicada? Usually those don't come out till later in the um, summer, but, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's usually a sign that fall is coming, which means I've got to go back to work. So what's happening with you? This is all about you, don't you know? That's why when people call the contact me and they say negative things, like I'm like, I'm just trying to help people. <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't work for you, then there you have it, but you don't need to attack. We breathe life to you. In Jesus' name, that you might see the error of your ways and stop attacking things that you don't agree with or don't understand or it's just different than what you hold to be true. It just might be another voice in the kingdom of God, showing the diversity that God births, you know. And Paul says, you know, that people be of one mind and are all saying the same thing. Yeah, we're all saying the same thing, that God is wonderful, and that our lives are set free by God, and none of this would be brought to its ultimate fruition without the sacrificial life of Jesus. That's the one thing, baby. And plus, we're all just growing on different paths, right? Genetic makeup, your environmental background, the circumstances in your life, the level of faith that you have. That was a cardinal there. So yeah, we owe each other that respect of just being human, alive. 
trying to grow in new ways, willing to shed anything in our lives that is not pleasing to God. And we don't necessarily discover that by following the Bible like a Pharisee, somebody who takes things too literally and puts burdens on other people because of it. amazes me how many people there are in Christian circles that absolutely believe everything in the Bible as it appears, as if God was genocidal, murderous, vengeful homophobic, misogynistic, supporting slavery and rape. And condemns male homosexuality more than female. Because in the former, it requires murder blows me away that people would actually think that's who God is. Especially after the advent of Jesus arriving and repeatedly saying, you've heard it said, but I tell you, that Jesus brought a whole new level of understanding of who God is, and that's where we ought to rest. Oh yeah, baby, all day long. Because resting in him is where you find the joy. You don't find joy in Jesus by judging other people and attacking them. You might want to correct them on something, but you can do it in a way that's loving and understanding. Even though you still might be wrong, you don't need to pull an attitude. And speaking of which, it's just better to be slow to speak as we are encouraged to do. And every so often when it feels like a song is coming forth, sing it out, baby, sing it out. And you'll find yourself taking off like an airplane. You don't have to be a great singer. It doesn't have to be a great song. But if something's welling up in you out of thanksgiving and love for who God is, then just let it loose, baby. Because we want to nurture us being conduits of God's activity. And he's forever encouraging us to be thankful, to put things in the right perspective, to give him praise for who he is and the relationship we have with him forever and the goodness of the cross of Jesus and the, the promises of God that nurture life in our being. Oh yeah. If that doesn't get you singing and dancing, baby, I'm not sure what will. 
Oh.